Q does not equal PubSub. Some of the most popular mechanisms for handling big data processing are PubSub brokers and messaging queues. Despite their popularity, I suspect that many people, including myself, have in the past worked with the tools without realizing that PubSub and Q do not refer to the same thing. This confusion is likely due to the popularity of tools like Kafka, Amazon SNS, and Amazon SQS. These tools are amazing and I use them almost daily, however their utility comes at the cost of blurring the lines between PubSub and Qs. For example, Kafka backs each of its PubSub consumers with a Q. Aside from the popularity of these tools is the fact that both Q and PubSub exist for asynchronous messaging. What this means is that both have a concept of consumers and producers, and both are mechanisms for allowing producers and consumers to scale independently. Let's analyze the difference between PubSub and Qs. PubSubs exist for one-to-many messaging, meaning messages are fanned out or copied to all consumers. Let's take a look at an example using a notification system for the stock market. When a stock hits a certain price, our broker is going to send a copy of the event to each different type of consumer. What the consumer does is up to them. In this case, one is buying and one is selling. Now, the major benefit of PubSub over Qs is that if another consumer wants to do something else with the message, say, generate a report of the price, then all they need to do is subscribe and they get a copy of the event. PubSub systems also have a concept of topics. For example, we can make a topic per stock, and if someone wants to listen to the price of another stock, then they listen to the appropriate topic. Queues, on the other hand, exist for one-to-one -one messaging. Imagine we have a queue of stock market orders, which each represent the purchase or sale of a stock. Now, what if we wanted to generate a report of the orders? Would we add another type of consumer, like we did for PubSub? That's a big no, because a queue does one-to-one -one messaging, so whoever takes the message is the only one to receive it and use it, so there'd be competition between the execution script and the report script, which is far from what we want. The benefit of queues over PubSub, though, comes when we want many kind of the same kind of script to tackle the queue at the same time. For example, if the queue had a backlog of a thousand orders and we had a thousand replicas of the same script, we'd burn through the queue almost immediately and the user experience would be amazingly fast. Another benefit of queues over PubSub is that they store data in case of disaster. Think of a to-do list in a restaurant. If the workers had to stop to put out a fire, they can put out the fire then get right back to the to-do list afterward. Overall, queues are good for parallel processing and disaster recovery, whereas PubSub brokers are good for spreading a message and allowing a system to be easily extended. Both of them are great asynchronous messaging mechanisms that allow for handling of big data. Although you may already have experience with using such tools, it's good to get definitions precisely so that you know exactly when to use which part of what, or for when something breaks. If you guys are curious, check the links below I used to do my research for this video. Thanks for watching and take care.